My name is Ralph, for those of you who I have not yet had the pleasure of meeting. And um, this is 30 Minutes on Emotions. The good news is um, that it is the very nature of the human organism and psyche to move towards healing, growth, and restoration when in the presence of the right conditions. Right? Everything that plagues us in our lives, all the repetitive cycles of thoughts, emotions, interpersonal relationships, behaviors, and what have you, all of that stuff that has at its root trauma can be healed and in fact will be healed on its own, just like your body will heal a cut on your arm on its own without you doing very much except maybe avoid, you know, putting something toxic in the cut. Maybe, you know, put some Neosporin on it. Maybe put a Band-Aid on it. Maybe introduce conditions that will help it heal and not hurt it further, right? Same thing with our minds, same thing with our hearts, same things with our nervous systems, which is really where all of the emotions that we experience, you know, however many thousands of them that we have in the course of a single day, what to speak of maybe even a single hour, <clears throat> that's where all of that stuff comes from, you know, and I, we're, we're more organized around the hurtful things that we've experienced than we are the joyful things unfortunately, and we could get way into the evolutionary psychology of that. But <clears throat> to come back to the point, we heal when in the presence of certain conditions, and those conditions can be distilled into one word, empathy. Human warmth, compassion, positive regard, love, understanding all of those qualities that are in empathy feeling with being with a willingness to be with an excitement to be with even if it's difficult acceptance right? <clears throat> empathy has has those qualities to it and that is what all of us want isn't it to receive from other people it is when we didn't get it growing up, that's what set you know, in motion an entire chain reaction of insanity for us, both literal and figurative. <clears throat> and what's really cool is uh, child psychiatrist uh, Dan Siegel talks about how you know, the brain lights up in a certain way when we feel that someone else is attuned to us, paying attention to us in a caring way and feeling into whatever our situation is and, and responding in an appropriate way to whatever our situation is, right? Um, that's what we all want all the time is just to be understood and, for, um, and, and accepted and to have people um, meet us where we're at. But the cool thing is, the brain lights up in the exact same way when we offer that to ourselves. When we tune into <laughs> ourselves with the attitude of a good parent, basically, right? A good, benevolent, competent, not perfect, but just a good parent who's warm, attuned, uh, available, and accepting. So, hmm. Hmm. so to put these two things together, really the path of healing through meditation, which meditation is designed to be a healing situation. Um, can we bring the quality of empathy, genuine sympathy for ourselves, warmth, to the places inside of us that we ordinarily say, no, that's not acceptable? The parts of us that don't feel good enough, the parts of us that get pissed off, the parts of us that make big messes in our lives, the parts of us that feel lonely and afraid, the parts of us that uh, carry hurts and resentments, you know, all of the stuff that we're like, you know what, I'll be present when, that stuff is gone. <laughs> you 
you know, I'll be good when, you know, I resolve this issue in my life. That just needs to go away, and then, you know, I'm cool. Then, then I can practice. Then I'll be the person that I want to be. No. With that in the mix, can we be the people that we want to be? Can we uh, practice being a good parent to ourselves with our inner tantruming four-year-old? You know, like that. So the practice that we're about to engage in uh, together is based on all of these ideas and hopefully will <coughs> seamlessly provide you uh, an experience with everything that I'm talking about. So if you're new to meditation, um, buckle in. <laughs> but uh, no, just, just e even if you're really experienced with meditation, um, I'm going to be describing a lot of things and I'm going to give lots of uh, prompts and uh, toss out lots of ideas and you can take what works for you and leave the rest behind. And just know that it's, we're never like, you know, dead on and like totally focused and following the whole thing. It's always like this shaky kind of in and out situation. So do you know that that's okay? All right. So. <coughs> nice upright dignified posture, please. Center of the pelvis on the center of the cushion. Just gently close your eyes for a moment and feel the support of the earth beneath you. The way in which gravity is pulling you down towards the earth. And the visceral sensations of body in contact with the earth. In the feet, in the seat. And know that since you are supported, you can just let go. You can let your body get really heavy as if you were trying to fall through the cushion. And so that's, in essence, the whole story right there is when we feel support and sturdy, uh, a sturdy sense of being held, we let go, we relax, we land. And from there, we can rise. So spine growing long. We want the back of the neck to be both long and straight and we'll find that by taking the top tips of the ears and letting them go directly upwards towards the lights to lengthen the neck crown of the head going up towards the sky and then we'll straighten the neck by allowing the forehead to tilt forward just one centimeter and the chin to relax inwards and down just a tiny tiny bit The eyes can fall back into their sockets. The tongue can relax at its root. The belly can be a belly for once. Join me in taking a big, deep breath, really filling the lungs, just letting out with some sound. And filling up the belly with air, filling up the chest with air, and the shoulders. And this time hold for five, four, three, two, one, and let it go. Go ahead. One more, please. So let your lips close, let your teeth remain parted so the jaw doesn't clench. And just notice your body is breathing. Let it be really loose. Let it be as sloppy as it needs to be. 
But just notice that there's an inhale and exhale happening. It's causing the chest to rise and fall. It's causing the belly to move in and out. be accustomed to feeling the breath in the nose or in the throat. Today I'm going to encourage you to feel it in the belly and the chest. You can even take the whole torso. Noticing that it's breathing. I'll ask that you breathe in a particular way, which is by taking the effort out of breathing as much as you can. So let your exhales just go out with no pushing. Let there be space. Just wait until you feel the whisper of the inhale sort of knocking at the door, wanting to come in. And then very gently, with as little effort as possible, guide it in. Let the next exhale just go out, dissolve into space. And you stay watchful for the sensation of inhale initiating. And then you guide it in. Notice in that space that everything drops. And that you have to stay present in order to feel that spark of the inhale. That's not by accident.
Notice the way in which your exhales have this natural quality of release and relaxation to them. Every time you exhale, the shoulders can soften, the belly can release a little more. The bands of tension held in the pelvis, in the hips, in the glutes can disentangle. The eyes and the cheeks and the jaw can melt. these last couple of minutes before we move on. Refine your bodily uh, awareness to just the space of the heart, the center of the chest a few inches behind the sternum. Like a wave in the ocean, swelling, reaching shore and receding back out into the totality of the sea. So as you enjoy your breath, I'll ask you to remember a time that you uh, felt genuine caring for another being. A time when you felt tuned into someone, you felt warm towards them. felt genuine empathy. And 
whether you have one memory or 15 coming rushing back, doesn't matter. What matters is what does it feel like to care? What does it feel like for love to flow out of you? What is it like in the body? We'll let the memory come stronger. What it's like to care at the level of your body. The warmth, the softening, the heart sinking. Once you feel that, use the power of your mind to let it grow. Exaggerate it on purpose. Notice how good it feels. Notice the shift. And let it become more intense, more meaningful. More bright, more loud. And once you bring the feeling of caring for another being to maximum pitch, just let it really sink into you, into your arms, into your belly, into your face, into your back. <coughs> Stay there another few seconds. And then let this feeling float towards the background of your consciousness, the backstage of your mind. And then bring to center stage a time when you felt loved by another person. Can you remember a time when you felt cared for, when you felt held, when you felt warmth and understanding coming from another being? might note some resistance to this in some way. Take a breath and see if that can relax. <coughs> but what is it like to feel love flowing in? <coughs> what does it feel like in your body? Let yourself go there and imagine it fully. The feeling of receiving warmth. And then exaggerate it, let it grow, let it deepen, turn up the volume. Notice the shift, the goodness. Let it land in your skin, in your pores, in your muscles, in your bones. Keep this feeling and bring back the body memory of what it feels like for love to flow out. 
just as a little experiment, what is it like when the feeling of love flowing out and the feeling of love flowing in co-mingle, mix together? the intention of this is for me this experience right now I'm the one having it can you feel this for yourself love flowing out and in at the same time Just notice what it's like to breathe and be in your body. Notice what it's like to feel the breath in the heart. If you like, you can take the two corners of your mouth and allow them to go apart from one another. That's advanced meditation technique. Join me in taking one final deep breath. 